Hello again YouTube and I'm back with an update and uh, in this update here I show you that I'm running my uh, LG portable unit there and it's uh, blowing pretty well and I've got it on a cool uh, even though this unit right here is is uh, uh, pretty small for this particular room so I usually just run it on fan uh, but I for right now I've got it on cool and it's at 68 degrees and it's running high and uh, you can see how I've got it hooked up, stuff going into the attic. And yes, I know there's been folks that say this is very inefficient and stuff like that. And so far it's working fine. Um, you know, it's working as I had hoped it would work, so it's no big deal. Uh, also, just to kind of let you know, I'm all in give you some statistics right now. You know, it's a uh, 317 in the after in the afternoon. And you can my battery bank is full. You can see the state of charge is 100 percent um, you know, there's still 69 amps coming in from the array, and uh, my system voltage, battery voltage is 31.78 um, uh, volts and so forth, but the high point is 32, and my array is operating at 64% efficiency, and uh, because, you know, the charging power that's coming in is, is uh, just over 2 kilowatts. Um, however, my system is capable of 3.4 kilowatts, so that's 64% of, of what it's totally capable of under perfect ideal conditions. However, you know, we, uh, you know, I'm, I, obviously I'm not going to see perfect ideal conditions, but you know, it's it's operating like that right now, and I've already produced 15 uh, kilowatt hours, 15.5 kilowatt hours today, and um, right now there's about 21 amps going to loads. You can see the watts. I've modified my screen here to give me a lot more information. So right now I'm pulling about, you know, a thousand, just over a thousand watts and 35 amps is still going to the battery bank. And uh, kind of give you an idea of what the Connext is doing. And I'm actually off grid. You can see where it says my inverter status is invert. So essentially it's inverting. And uh, I'm gonna actually change that to say inverting. Um, but anyway, and you can see there is absolutely nothing coming in from the utility and um, this is what I'm kind of pushing to uh, as far as AC so this is the AC watts uh, according to what the Connex is saying so this is the AC watts and going back to my total view this is the DC watts so if you divide the AC watts into the DC watts you'll see as far as the efficiency and you know a lot of these inverters when they say hey they're like x you know 90 percent efficient blah 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 uh you know you know maybe maybe they got some more sophisticated equipment than i have obviously so maybe i'm just saying something wrong here but um as you can see it takes a, a roughly you know just over a thousand kilowatts to uh a thousand watts to provide power ac power you know uh, to the house at 800 watts just over 800 watts of ac power so yeah, it kind of gives you an idea. Um, but obviously my battery bank has more than 400 amp hours, but, so I, but I kept it there. Uh, it just kind of gives me a, a really good margin you know, of error and so forth. 400, 400 watts, I mean 400 amp hours, I've, I've discovered is more than enough for what I need, um, more than enough. So uh, I mean, as far as you know, getting down to like the 0% state of charge, um, and you know, obviously I have more in the battery bank. But this thing here, it's, we've been running it, uh, running it for a while now. I've got it clamped in the back so that the hose doesn't get this, you know, be flopping around. What happens is it'll, it'll scrub against the wall, and I've, I've recently had to repaint where it was scrubbed. Give a little smudge spots where it's, it's rubbing against the wall, and um, so I kind of clamped it. You can see, you know, there it, it isn't like crimped, so so airflow wouldn't, you know, can't take place. But it's just kind of holding it in place, you know, um, so that it won't, uh, you know, it won't be, you know, just banging around and stuff. So if you look at it, you know, I've got it up there, you know, kind of, you know, repainted over in, uh, in uh, that little area that was, uh, you know, up there uh, that was showing. So, uh, you know, I did the best I could. Um, so, but anyway, yeah, this thing does, it does actually work. It works really well. And so... Uh, and also, one of the things that I kind of wanted to show is, uh, you know, this Wemo stuff. I actually really like that. You know, the Wemo. Uh, okay, and here's my little Wemo with all my devices that I have. 
and I can literally turn this thing off by just pressing this and I just turn it off now what it is it's connected to this 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 device and I don't know if you can see it maybe it'll focus and that is a Wemo by Belkin okay that's a Wemo and uh, you can see it's plugged in and, and uh, I can control it you know with my iPhone and my uh, Android tablet as you can see it's turned off and uh, if I want to turn it back on just hit the button and it comes on and there you have it <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool I thought it was really cool uh, but anyway YouTube uh, you know thanks for watching hopefully the sound is not too terrible uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you uh, you know what I've got going on so far okay take care